what made me want to do something a little outside the box, right? I mean, we've got, you know, we, we've, we've got a marketing company. Um, I spend most of my time training salespeople. That's, that's, that's my gift. That's my talent. That's what I love doing. Um, and I thought I'm going to change it up this weekend, man. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to walk through how to utilize an online presence to boost your business, to boost sales, to gain more leads, to make sales, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, and you say, okay, well, why this? Why now? Well, I've been thinking a lot about, um, I've been thinking a lot lately about scaling my business, the end of the year, 2021, into the future. I, I, I may even be coming out with a new company here soon. Uh, my, my brain's always moving, right? Who else is like, okay, I, I'm, I'm the idea man in my office, in my family. I'm always coming up with new ideas. My brain's constantly moving. Yep, that's me too. That's me too, okay? Um, so uh, what I really wanted to walk through tonight is what really got my attention is I started on YouTube um, in December of 2015. It's almost been five years ago. And there's a lot of people that haven't been following for five years per se, um, but, but you see everything and you think, okay, you know what? Um, some people, some people think, okay, the, you know, he, he's been, the, he's been consistent and grinding for five years. Some people think, okay, it's, it's an overnight success, whatever. Right. So I wanted to kind of walk through kind of what has happened over the last five years, what we've done, what you can immediately do um, to, to, to replicate what we've done in your own business. Um, what really got my attention on getting more attention, because I really believe that's the name of the game in, in 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and beyond, um, Mr. Harless, the name of the game is attention. If you have more attention in your local market, you make more money, guaranteed, guaranteed. You have more attention across your state, like my father does when it comes to Medicare seminars, right? Boom, guaranteed to make more money. Your income will go up, or, or, or you're just a really bad business owner, right? Which I have been in the past and I've had to learn how to like, you know, how to, how to tweak my business along the way. Um, get, getting attention for whatever you're wanting to do, like Javier up here is wanting to, um, he, he's, he's, he's in pre-need and he's wanting to um, own that market in the US and have webinars and courses and all this other stuff, right? He's wanting to get attention and help people do what he's doing. You know, the dude's making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, tearing it up, and, and as several people are on here that I know. And what really got my attention was earlier this year, I was at 10X um, Growth Conference with Grant Cardone. Who's heard of 10X? Okay, good, good. It's almost like who hasn't nowadays, right? Because, because why? Because the dude's got so much freaking attention, man, right? So I was at his conference and he showed, I don't, I, I wish I'd have took a picture of it. I think I did, but it, I'm probably buried in my phone with 6,000 other photos. Um, he posted something on the big screen that showed his Google trend compared to his income, right? His Google trend compared to his income. And it was almost identical. The increase on his Google trend versus the increase in income for him. You say, well, how do you apply this to your business, whether you're trying to sell courses or selling insurance or starting a YouTube channel, right, or whatever? The, the, the key is for you, because really the goal is, like if I look at our HubSpot account right now, um, we probably had 12, 1,500 agents come into our funnels last month saying, okay, I need help with something, right? And, and why is it important to you? Because... When you can become what Coach Burke calls a person of interest and people can start reaching out to you and you have leads coming in every single day for people that want to do business with you, that have interest in your products and services, guess what? You aren't having to chase people anymore. People are chasing you, right? Which is a different place to be and it's an amazing place to be as a business owner, by the way. So how do we help you get more attention? Right. And, and I'm going to I'm going to have some polls along the way. And I, I want to get some feedback from you guys on on. Actually, you know what? Why don't we start with that now? Because I'm going to do some training, teaching. I'm going to talk through some different social media platforms, things we're doing. Um, we advertise on a lot of stuff. Uh, we're growing by about fifteen hundred to two thousand new sub YouTube subscribers. that are insurance agents every single month. Um, so our YouTube channel is starting to take off. And I'm actually curious when it comes to an online presence and boosting your guys' business and scaling, right? And increasing sales and scaling your revenue. 
I want to know what you have interest in, right? Is it, is it websites? Is it your social media? Is it your, and I'd love to see in chat, is, is, it, is it, hey, I want to start a YouTube and have people reaching out to me to buy insurance from me? Is it LinkedIn, right? Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Is it, I want to learn lead generation so I can generate my own leads, right? Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's I want 10,000 likes on my Facebook page, right? Maybe it's I want, to, you know, I want, I want north of 10,000 followers on my Instagram so that I can use swipe up on my Instagram account. Um, and for those that don't know, right, that's, that's where literally you can post um, a link on a story and someone can be watching it and literally just swipe up and go straight to your landing page and buy it, right? Which is super valuable if you're promoting something. Could be insurance for a lead form for a quote, though. Could also be for recruiting, right? Um, maybe, maybe it's, hey, I want to spend time with your guys, uh, your video team, and actually learn video coaching. Um, maybe it's, hey, 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 I want to spend time with your web guys on like courses, webinars, funnels. I'd love to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with your web team. Um, maybe it's, hey, I want to send out 25,000 DMs on Instagram so that I can gain prospects reaching out to me or even recruits, right? Because you guys, you guys probably wouldn't believe it if I said that uh, we've gotten about 50 leads this weekend to give us their phone number and email to talk to a salesperson through Instagram this weekend alone, right? So, so how do you specifically do that? Uh, and I appreciate you guys jumping in chat. I love that. Uh, LinkedIn, Mark, that's good, man. That, that's actually something we're starting to put more attention to. I was watching a Gary video, Gary V video recently about um, LinkedIn and TikTok and how you can get, start to get a, a good amount of um, organic traffic because of those things. Well, I put up a TikTok video, um, literally... The, the, the money drop at 8%, um, this one, and it has 36,000 views on TikTok this weekend. I put it up like Friday, right? That's, that's, that's insane, right? The organic, so the organic reach, Gary Vee knows his stuff, right? The organic reach on TikTok and LinkedIn is, is strong. Um, YouTube and lead generation, good, Jennifer, that's great. Web page, lead generation, better lead generation, social media, lead generation, YouTube, Facebook, lead gen, Facebook, Instagram, lead generation, use the various social media platforms, YouTube, YouTube website, uh, to be known as a final expense guru. That's, I love that, Michael, dude, you've niched down, you've, you found your, your focus, and there's no doubt that you can be that. Um, YouTube and website, content marketing. Yeah, see, that's what I'm, that's, that's, I'm glad you brought that up, Aaron, because that's one of the things that a lot of insurance agents do not even realize is available in the market right now is if you want to be known as the person to go to in our industry for a certain product, it is available over the next 12, 24, 36 months for you to become that authority figure to where you have hundreds of people that reach out to you every single day, right? I mean, what's crazy is I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my screen and show some analytics of my YouTube channel. And I'm going to show you the first year. Um, I don't normally show the back end of our YouTube channel, but hey, you know what? Who cares? I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, that's why you sign up for intimate webinars, right? Um, let me make sure I select the right. Uh, let's do this. All right. You guys can see this okay? It says in the selected period, your channel got 21,000 views. Can you guys see that? Everybody can see that okay? Okay, good. So here's what I want to walk through. Okay, here's what I want to walk through. This was from December of 15, 2015 through December of 2016. My very first year on YouTube, 21,000 views, 2.4 thousand hours of watch time, 369 subscribers. Literally, literally we went from, we went from, like these were, these are view counts, by the way, that I'm hovering over. Zero, one, three, five, three, eight, right? Then it starts to grow. 20, 30, 50, 60, 114, 80, 100, 200, right? It starts to grow. And this is literally, we only got 20,000 views total in the first year and a total amount of subscribers of six, 369 people. That is it. That is flipping horrible, by the way. And I wish I knew then what I know now, right? And I know we've all been there. We're like, dude, I wish I would have known this a decade ago. And I wish I knew all this a decade ago, right? Back when I was 20, um, I'd be a lot, a lot farther along than I am now. 
but I show you that to, to I show that to encourage you. And the way that it encourages you is I'm drinking some uh, e-fuel electrolyte hydration mix, um, drink mix, because I just finished an Ironman a week ago. And I'm like, dude, I need, there we go. There we got Coca-Cola in the house. I'm like, dude, I need, I need some, uh, I need some, you know, I need, I need, I gotta say hydrated, right? Cause I got dehydrated on that Ironman, that 70 mile Ironman. Um, I show you guys that because you cannot do any worse than me. Don't, I mean, whether you listen to me or not, right? Whether you do anything with us in any way, I'm telling you, you cannot do any worse than I did. First year, garbage. Second year, a little better. Third year, a little better. Fourth year, a little better. Fifth year, a lot better. Right? It takes time for all this to start to grow. And for those, and, and I show you that too, because there is a massive opportunity in the insurance industry for someone to start producing content and to get known and, and, and to boost yourself in the marketplace for final expense, Medicare, uh, annuities, because there's not many people doing that, right? It, it doesn't matter. I mean, P, P and C, right? It doesn't matter what you're doing. I promise you, if it was a goal of mine for me to become the number one um, Medicare person online, that, that, that prospects are reaching out to online, right? You've got, you know, you get Christopher Westfall, you got Boomer Benefits, you got Justin Brock, these all these other people. I know enough now that literally in 36 months, I could be the number one dude at that. Why? Because of simply what I know now. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and keep going. Um, the amount of new ways to get prospects is amazing yet intimidating. Yeah, it really is. It really, really, really is. And I'm doing this and you guys signed up for it, right? Because you're like, okay, I want to boost my online presence. I want to start to grow this thing. I, I, I want to, um, so I, I want to gauge your interest level in comments before I start to go through each different social media platform and give you some specific ideas on what really is intriguing to you. Um, who in the chat does not have a website, but is like, okay, I realized to beat, to boost my business, to, to scale my revenue, to become a player in the market, to become a person of interest. I need one. I need one, right? Who out there is like, okay, I don't have one, but you know what? I kind of need one, man. You know, um, and maybe it's nobody, maybe everybody has one. Uh, Tatia, okay. I appreciate the honesty. I don't have anything. Well, you know what? Uh, there, the, you, you, you can't, um, you can't do any of it, uh, you know, right? You, 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 once you start, th then you've got it all. Um, Jerome is working on one now. That's awesome. I've been doing some good luck on Facebook groups. I like that. Grow more hits via website, LinkedIn, Jamie, uh, Bonnie. Good. Good. Need to add a blog. Yes. Absolutely. Great. Love that. Working on it. Just bought a domain. All, my, my only, my only like recommendation, and, and some of you are going to think this is a little bit self-serving because I have a marketing company, but I'm saying it for a reason. Please don't build your own website. You say, well, okay, well, why? Because you're going to spend dozens of hours and it's still going to suck. And that's not your fault because I built my own. I, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking from experience, by the way. The one I built was the, wor it was the old securitymetric.com one back in 2016 was the worst website you've ever seen. It was, it was, it was total garbage. Um, Laura, love that. That's good. Uh, Myra, so should we have a personal website and an agency website? See, I, I actually believe, um, that's a phenomenal question, by the way, because that, because, because who, who out there is watching thinking, okay, I don't know whether to have a personal website, whether to have an agency website, or how do you even structure any of this stuff? Should it be business focused? Should it be personal focused, right? Uh, I believe, that you should have a personal, nowadays, I believe you should have a personal brand, Myra Luna, for example. And then from there, they can, you, you can help prospects. You can recruit agents. You could even get to where you had a personal brand that offered training, coaching, consulting, courses, funnels, webinars, et cetera, right? And so, so because of that, 
Um, okay, good. Laura's got a husband that actually masters in IT and can build websites. That's phenomenal. That, that's a big help. Um, Patty likes hers. Okay, good. Perfect. I, I did not like mine, to be honest. Um, I really didn't. And you, Nastasia's right. Your time is better spent actually actively seeking customers and closing deals. Because what, 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 what do we get paid? We get paid to drive revenue, to make sales, uh, and, and at the end, make money. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, now, um, next question. Who is on here now saying, okay, um, I would like to start a YouTube channel and become known on YouTube and have people reaching out to me on a daily basis because I consistently post educational videos to help a specific niche. And, and you're right, Tatiana, it's way too much. A lot of people, it's way too much. Um, yes, Aaron, okay, good. So this is YouTube related. Uh, and I'm telling you, this is a game changer, by the way, right? This is a total freaking game changer. When you start to actually grow, um, I want in on the podcast game. I love that, that's good. Uh, yeah, the, I mean, YouTube is a phenomenal, phenomenal asset. Like if Michael Harless is like, hey, dude, I want, I want people reaching out to me to buy final expense. Um, that would be the first place I would start from a long term content play for sure, even before a blog, by the way. Because why? Because every because our industry is so far behind, everyone's blogging, but nobody's posting video content, right? Because they don't know what to say when they post that when they start the video, they're like, okay, start and I don't I forget it. I'll do it later. Right. Or, or they, or they take 80 takes because they're like, well, this is going to be horrible. Right. I'm not any good at video yet. Trust me. Um, if I like, if you go back and look at my first video from, from, from December, um, if I show, actually, I'm going to show you guys real quick. If I sort by oldest on my YouTube channel, it's, it's not good by the way. The first thing is training. Which, uh, which screen are you guys seeing? Can you guys see the YouTube video? There we go. Dude, it's different carriers resources, how to run quotes, where to get quotes, whether it be on an app. It's, it's a diff. It's like a different human being is sitting there talking to you guys. Like, right, Mark? I mean, Mark's laughing, man. Dude, it's not like it, it's, but, but the point is start somewhere, post it anyway. Right. We always say, we'll do whatever it takes, do it anyway. Right. Do it. The good news is I've stayed consistent for five years. I'm no better at YouTube videos than anybody else. Now, have I gotten a lot better over the years? Sure. But did I, st the, the key was I started. Step one, show up. Right, Reese? Step one, show up. Step two, keep showing up, man. Keep showing up, right? The difference is I keep showing up. Most people fall off the wagon and quit far too soon. And if one of you, especially Reese at your age, if you'll just like commit and go all in, and I'm telling you, you'll look back in 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, heck, 60 months like me and be like, wow, I'm so glad I freaking started and didn't stop. So glad I started and didn't stop, man. Um, yeah, personal branding can be uh, a little bit intimidating, by the way. Um, I'm, I, I completely agree. It's... Uh, I'm an FE2, our, our older clients, even on YouTube, <laughs> you'd be surprised. Um, you'd be surprised. If I searched on Neil Patel's uh, Uber Suggest, which is a SEO keyword finder. Let me show you guys this real quick. This is powerful for like, okay, is there a market? Is, is, is something available? Can you guys see my screen here? I'm colorblind, but I think we got a bunch of orange going on. Okay. Um, if we search burial insurance in the United States, this keyword it's not showing up at all. Well, I'm, I promise there's some, uh, maybe it's want me to buy it or something. Let me try a different word or, or it's just not showing me. Well, it ain't it ain't working and showing me anything today. So maybe uh, maybe don't use Uber Suggest. But it normally, and you can check it on your own or later. Maybe I've, I I used it recently, so maybe I've extended my free stuff. But you search in there a keyword, and it'll actually go and tell you the search volume um, by keyword. And burial burial insurance is is um, is is a is a super highly searched term. 
and only seniors would be post would be searching that. So the answer, right, to the question of Patty, yes, the answer is yes. Uh, I'm concerned about learning how to edit videos. Uh, here's what you need. Here's what I would do if I was you to start. I wouldn't edit at all. I wouldn't edit at all, right? I would pull out my camera. I would click start. And then you can trim the beginning and the end on, on the free YouTube editor, right? So you click start. Hey, you're watching because you want to know the seven reasons why you need to buy final expense life insurance. And I'm going to give them to you right now. Step number one, right? And you just do that. And you just have like something like that, right? You start, you, you shoot it, you stop it, and then you can trim the, the beginning and the end and then throw it up. Um, so that because that's, if, if it was for, if it wasn't, if, if, if editing got in the way, I would have never started either, by the way. Um, I didn't edit anything for like the first couple of years, by the way. Um, court board was nice, dude. So nice. Such a sexy looking thumbnail, man. Uh, so nice. Uh, that's awesome. Video is so scary. You go blank. I did one of the videos for 8% and you said, you said only 30 seconds and holy cow, it was nerve wracking. Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, it, it can be. Um, it can be, but, but the key is right. Aaron's saying it. Consistency is key. How long should the videos last? Uh, for, for those that don't know, YouTube prefers that videos are at least eight minutes. And most people on YouTube, even our industry, don't even know that. Um, why? Because YouTube cares about watch time. Why does YouTube care about watch time? Because they play ads on people's videos. The more people watch, the more ads they can show, the more money they can make. So they're not going to promote your 60 second, 90 second, two minute videos. Also, if you look at our YouTube channel now, um, if I go back to my channel and walk through this with you, this is some of the stuff that if, if you were doing like a session with my video guy, this is what he would be going over, by the way. Um, we just hit 26,000 subscribers, I think either yesterday or today, by the way. And I think we just hit, we, we were at 25,000 pretty soon. But you can see this is the only video, this two minute one is the only one that's less than like 10 minutes, 940. Right. And that's in the last like two weeks, three weeks, 21 videos ish, 18 videos. And, and the reason is it's, it's, it's watch time. Uh, and you say, well, okay, I'm kind of worried about talking to a camera for eight minutes. Um, the key with this too is you got to think about how do you, like the same thing for me when I'm on a webinar, how do you keep their attention during the whole video? Here's a question you should ask yourself before you start the video. What do they want to learn? And what am I going to teach them? And if it's always focused on, because everybody's, everybody's favorite radio station, Laura, is WIIFM, what's in it for me? Make it about them. Make it about them. The whole time, it's all about them. And I'm focused on delivering content in a way that is good for them. You don't have, to have fancy TVs. You don't have, to have like, you could literally be doing it right there where all you guys are sitting. No joke. You could be shooting videos exactly like that. Okay. Um, I have my channel, but adding goes slowly. That's right, Grace. I love that. Um, uh, I've been doing live educational events this AEP, which has certainly boosted my confidence for more personal branding. Good, good. That, that's a big key. If you can do that in front of a group of people, trust me, video is easy. Video is easy. Public speaking is tougher than video content. Now, that, some people do struggle with it, even after speaking a lot live. But um, the key, too, is it's easier to keep their attention in person. So you got to think about it. when you're on video, you got to you got to uh, you don't have to move faster, but you have to find ways to, like, keep their attention. Right. And so for me, um, I've had to learn some of those things over the years. Burial insurance search volume, 9,900, SEO difficulty, 47, paid difficulty, 89, cost click, 1682. Thank you, Brian. That's awesome. I don't know why it wouldn't work for me. Um, and there's probably other final expense, funeral. There's probably others that have, have way more. I think that's every month, by the way. So there's 10,000 people going on and searching burial insurance every single month. And that doesn't include all the other search terms they could be using. Um, so that's that's phenomenal. All right. Who, who, who else is like, okay, you know what? Um I want to know how to grow my Facebook and Instagram following to where I'm actually gaining um, followers, likes, right? Because I'm asking the guys this stuff, because if you look at our CodyAskins.com website, um, it has... It has came a long way over the years. 
right? But but we get hundreds of agents to go to this website every single day now. Okay, and then if we go to the YouTube thing, right? I'm simple. I'm we've got we just hit twenty six thousand subscribers, and we're posting video content almost every day. We try to shoot at least five bit. We try to post at least five videos a week. Now that's a lot, but I've got a full time video, two full time video guys that can help do that in the studio and everything else. Now when we look at Facebook and Instagram. Who would love? to be able to gain more attention of people in your marketplace that care um, about your served products and services and you can start to engage with them through social media. Who's like, okay, who's thinking, okay, well, who's watching saying, I would love to have 10,000 likes on my Facebook page. And it's not as hard as you think, by the way. There's some things that I can do to specifically help you get there, by the way. Um, because right now we've got, 13,000 likes, 14,000 follows on Facebook, right? If you go look at Instagram, which I use even more now, way more, um, we're at 25.2 thousand followers on Instagram, okay? I guess I had it too close. Um, and we are posting content on Instagram every single day, right? But it's it's a focus of ours, okay? But Buddy says, okay, I won't, I'll, because there's some things that you can be doing to where whether you want to gain prospects or recruits, you can do it through social media platforms. Uh, Grace, that's good. Um, perfect. All the above. I love it. Um, and Reese, okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm missing anybody. Anybody saying, okay, you know what? This is what I would like to learn. Okay. Um, okay, good. Now, what about, what about lead generation where, okay, I would like, Cody, I, I would be, I would be open to spending time with you to learn how to start to generate my own leads. Um, I think this is going to be a big one. I think most people are going to respond. Yes, this is me. Um, simply because this is something that most people don't know that they need to know. Um, especially because it's something that no matter what investment you invest, it's always going to come back in the future. We've spent about $15 million on online app, well, maybe more now, but this was a few months ago on online advertising over the last probably four years. And I can tell you the investments that I've made to learn and to get better and to soak it all up has absolutely came back thousands fold because of every, all, all, all that we know and all that we're doing online, right? Leads are the life of the business. That's exactly right, right? If, if we don't have people coming to us, then we got to start hitting up our warm market again. We got to start asking for referrals. We got to start cold calling, cold door knocking. And um, I really don't believe anybody on here like loves to cold door knock or loves to hit up their warm market. Let's, let's be honest, right? I did. A, that's the only three things I did, by the way, as a brand new agent when I was 20, cold calling, cold door knocking, warm market. Um, did I find better ways and easier ways to make money clearly? Cause I'm not still doing it. Um, however, I didn't know, I didn't know any better. I was a brand new agent. Some of you are like, dude, I'm brand new to the business and I don't know what to do, but maybe I could do that. Right. Maybe I could do that. Okay. Um, okay. Also, I, I want to ask, I want to go a little deeper into that lead gen question though. Who's watching and saying, okay. I want to know lead generation, right? I see that. I see a bunch of answers, but do you want it to be Facebook, YouTube, or Google AdWords? Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google AdWords, or all three, by the way, because some of us don't, some of us aren't, right? Some of us aren't totally sure. Um, Shannon says all three. Okay, good. Aaron says Facebook and YouTube, which are phenomenal, by the way. You, we're, we're getting some killer traffic from YouTube with ads. And, and for Javier, you're exactly right. Um, YouTube ads are just flat out crushing it, man. They are. Um, now, they're easier when you have people watching your videos because then you can target video viewers, right, which, which makes it easier. Um, okay, good. No Google. I see that. Okay. Well, it's a little, that's a little uh, more complicated, a little more expensive. Um, the most high intent though, have, haven't even thought about Google AdWords, but definitely fit. Yeah. I mean, I, I would start there before I move to uh, Google. Yeah. Retargeting one of the, yes. I love, I love that because a couple things that we do is like Facebook, for example, if they watch our, if they watch our video, 
um, we're building an audience through our pixel to actually retarget people that have watched a certain amount of our video. Like if the video's 60 seconds and you want to retarget people that have watched half, right? Or people that went to your site that didn't fill out the lead form and now you want to get in their face. Hey, why didn't you fill out the lead form? Come back. Okay. Um, YouTube. Uh, uh, one of the things we do well is really well now compared to most, probably most people in our space is we, we've had 3 million. I could be off with that. Uh, no, actually no, 3.5 million. So 3,507,597 uh, views, 3.5 million views on our YouTube channel since December of 2015. We can target all of those views with an ad so that when I show up, like who, who's, see, who's seen my, my YouTube ads, by the way, uh, where you're about to watch a video and I pop up, okay? The nice thing about the video views is you post organically, you grow that up, and then once you have an audience of people that have watched your videos, thousands of people, in our case, hundreds of thousands now, you can retarget that audience with another video of your face so there's some facial recognition, which gets, they're more likely to listen to you and actually take action later. That's why the organic piece, most people try to do it without or the organic piece. You can do it, that's fine, but it works better if you have the organic piece working first. When organic, I mean, okay, actually I have a YouTube channel, I'm posting videos, I'm putting out content, I'm trying to get viewed by people in the marketplace, and then I'm gonna hit them up with an ad after they've watched, after, they've, after they're you know familiar with me. If I have more confidence in my video presence, I would say YouTube. Okay, good. Um, yeah, that, I mean, it's, 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 it's important um, for sure, for sure, for sure. And it, it will totally, it will totally pay off. That's the nice thing about um, everything that we do um, ad wise is it will eventually pay off. Okay, good. All right. Um, Here's a few of the things that I wanted to go over, which is uh, before we get to questions. So if you have questions like Aaron's, thank you for that. Throw them in chat. Okay. I want to spend another 25 minutes or so answering questions. Um, so go ahead and start throwing questions in chat. Here's a few things that we've learned. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm going to reward you for being on tonight and I'm going to go over something specifically. Okay. Um, what we've learned after spending it's, it's, it's definitely north of 15 million because we manage some clients, but then you got to think about all of our team that's actually managing everything for us too. So it's different. Um, I've learned that being a person of interest, right? Some, some people don't want to use the word in, in influencer, you know, but um, I'm 30, so maybe I'm old now. Maybe I can't use that word either, but uh, I promise you um, it's better for people to be coming to you than for you to be going to people. It just is, right? That's what we've learned, okay? That, that, that it's, it's easier. It's easier to close a deal, by the way. Do you want to have to use the no callback clothes and like put them in a freaking headlock and, you know, take them down? Or do you want them to be like, yeah, dude, I, I, I saw your video and I want to buy life insurance. Like who, who would like that freaking lead? Like that's, that's a rare freaking lead, right? That, that's a lead. That's not, I mean, that's a high intent lead because most of us already hate like all the leads in the marketplace anyway because – we never know if the lead's like ready to buy or not ready to buy or like, I just wanted the free guide. You know, you never know, right? Well, those, <laughs> that's like an eight, nine or a 10. Like they are ready for a quote, right? Which is, which is unique. Um, I love it when the random call-in comes on its own. Exactly, exactly, uh, exactly, exactly. Other thing we've learned is um, the first five seconds of everything you do matters. The first five seconds, by the way, Okay, Simon's up there taking notes, man. I love it. Good to see you, buddy. It's all about, um, is that the same Simon that's in the UK, by the way? Is that you or a different one? Yes, love it. Okay, good, buddy. Good to see you, man. Appreciate you being here. Um, it's, I don't know what time, what, what, what time is it over there? Oh, I can't hear you. I guess I could look, but. 2136. Okay. You see, you're uh, nice. So nine. Okay. So six hours ahead. Okay. Love it. Love it. That's awesome. That's commitment, man. Almost 10 o'clock at night. This dude's like, I'm in. I'm committed. I want to win. Uh, we've learned the first five seconds matters. Attention is everything. 
And when I'm doing something, here's a little secret. When you're putting out videos, you just want 70%. I, I paid to learn this, what I'm about to teach you, by the way. Some of you are gonna leave saying, ah, he didn't teach us nothing. Well, there's been some nuggets, which is whether you heard them or not, okay? Um, so you, when you're shooting a video, you hope that 70% are still watching after 60 seconds. <clears throat> that's your goal, that's your target. Now that's a hard target to hit and I don't always hit it. And you guys know me, I, I jump out with some freaking energy at the beginning of a video and it's, it's gotten even wilder now, but, but it's authentic and it's me because people can see through you not being real and raw, right? Like if I was one way on a video and then a different way here, it'd kind of be weird. Right, it can be weird. First five seconds, imperative. First 60 seconds, the next most important. And what you're doing is, I spend those first five seconds, aggressive, controversial, something to get in their face, something to get their attention, right? Uh, uh, Bert says, if you don't have a message that repels half the audience, you're never gonna attract half, you know? Okay. Um, and in those first 60 seconds, I'm telling them what they're going to learn and why they should keep watching. And then I'm diving into the content. Like that's the outline for me. That that's the check. That's the the, the boxes that I'm checking as I'm jumping into a video, um, right? Okay. And then the third thing that we've learned is we can't. I can't do it all on my own. I can't do it all on my own. Because um, why? I'll probably fall off the wagon every once in a while. Now I may get back on thirty days later, but I see people on YouTube that start. They post videos and they take three weeks off. The YouTube algorithm does not like that. Facebook, Instagram, whatever you're, Google, whatever you're using, they do not, they do not like that, right? They want consistent, creative, constant content that is caring, that people care about, right? Those are all the C's that, I, that, that, check our, that we, we check off the boxes for, right? Is it creative? Are we consistent? Do we care? Are, are we giving them what they want, right? What's in it for them? I'm a professional at falling off the wagon. Uh, well, the other alternative is being a professional at, 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 at not falling off. Uh, branding through content marketing is certainly what I want to do more of. But of course, this takes time. So what is the fastest way to immediately start generating leads post AEP? I would think Facebook marketing. Uh, yeah, I would agree. I would agree. I've decided what my goals are, but I found myself find myself overwhelmed in the amount of ways to get there. I'm trying to decide which avenue is more me and then dive in. It's overwhelming, but I think once I decide, yeah, I think I think I would agree too. I've also got something I want to walk through um, with you guys real quick that we are that we have not promoted other than the mentorship program. Very few people know about this, and I'm going to reward you guys for showing up right now. Okay, um, this is a for those that are like, okay, this is very overwhelming. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to start. Can everybody see this? Okay, by the way. Okay, this is called our, our business boost. It's got nearly $75,000 worth of value in it. We charge an onboarding fee to do this, but the, for the first five that see it tonight, we're not gonna charge an onboarding fee. And what this looks like is, it's a 12 month program. The first month, you're getting access to strategize with my team, okay? And if you're like, okay, I'm, I'm curious, I want to read more, you can go to CodyAskins.com forward slash deals, forward slash deals. Andy can throw that in the chat. Uh, also, second month is a social media kit with our social media coordinator. Third month is a YouTube starter pack, right? I want to start my own YouTube, but I don't want it to look poor. Then I want to use your team. Fourth month is a YouTube interview with me live on my YouTube channel in front of 26,000 insurance agents. And then we're going to blast it out to our 50,000 YouTube subscri uh, 50, subscribers on our email list. Okay. Fifth month, that's where we're actually, well, I'm just spending time um, learning Facebook advertising through our courses and our team um, to where you can get some online support from them so that you can actually learn how to do your own lead generation. Sixth month is all about increasing Facebook likes. Um, I can show you how to get to 10,000 Facebook likes. No doubt about it. Uh, seventh month is video coaching and consulting. I want to spend time with your main videographer, Dylan, so that he can actually teach me what I need to know so that I can stop playing small and not know what I'm doing when it comes to video. Uh, eighth month is increasing Instagram followers. Um, I can definitely show you ways to increase your Instagram following very quickly, by the way. 
Uh, ninth month is a web bra brainstorming session with my guy, Brett. That's my main web guy on ads, click funnels, webinars, courses, and more. Whatever you want to learn, he will spend time showing you what we do for me and how it can apply for you. Um, tenth month is Instagram DMs. This is a way for you to actually send 25,000 direct messages through Instagram that we use and we do. And that's how we got 50 to 60 new leads this weekend by sending those out. Those can be for prospects or recruiting, by the way. Um, and you will have people literally messaging you saying, like I had people messaging me this weekend with the word agent because they wanted to learn how to increase their closing rate by 30 to 40%. They were coming to me, not the other way around. Um, the 11th month is actually where I'm, I'm at. You're actually spending time with me, um, an idea session where I'm showing you, okay, how do we blow this thing up? How do we take it to another level? And I'm going to give you some ideas that you probably never heard of. And then the 12th month, that's where um, you actually come to the office. We have lunch. We do some, you have some studio time with the team to actually start recording some content um, as well. And um, we'll actually, we can actually promote and create a video from your visit. And then we can give you a full tour and, and you can hang out here um, for the day. Okay. So this is a business boost program. Uh, this is a total value of $75,000 over the course of one single year. We're only charging $497 a month. We were normally going to charge a $2,000 onboarding and setup fee, a $2,000 onboarding and setup fee that I am not going to charge for the first five people that want to jump in on this specific program and spend time with me and my team on boosting your business and helping you and teaching you over the next 12 months how to get really good at all of this. Um, this is on my vision board to do by the end of 2021. I love that. That's awesome. Um, uh, one of the questions was, what aspects of building a brand via content marketing do you suggest someone to pay someone to handle. Uh, that's dope. Thanks, Javier. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, this is this is the, the my team thought I was nuts for pricing it at, at less than 500 bucks a month um, because of how much like knowledge and access is in that. My, te my team was very surprised, but I thought, you know what? Um, we'll start here. We'll help, we'll help, you know, a handful of agents and we'll see where it goes from there. Um, I think the best way too is to brand via content marketing is to, to, to pay someone for if you weren't going to do something like this would probably eventually be a probably a probably eventually a video editor just so that it scales up the perceived value of the brand right because if our website's nicer if our um, YouTube channel looks better if it's actually got some social proof and credibility like it's actually got followers and likes um, and people are watching our stuff and the content looks good, then people perceive you differently, by the way. Um, they just do, right? They just do. And, and a lot of people nowadays um, don't realize the brand perception that they're putting off with what, with what they're putting out in the market. Like I, we don't put stuff out anymore that looks poorly, or if we do, we yank it down quick because I'm like, that, that's not okay, right? It's a reflection of me and it's, and it's, and it's not good. Um, I've loved this mentorship program and the other deals teach so much more than I've learned in six months with my company. Wow. Thank you so much. That's good. Um, is this one-on-one -on -one or a masterclass? Jennifer, this is one-on-one. -on -one. Um, that month 11 is a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Month 12, you'll actually be one-on-one -on -one with me. I'm here at the office. It's not like a group thing. And then, um, some of the team sessions along the way are all, um, just with you, right? So it's not a masterclass. It's not a group thing. It's, it's a lot of individual attention. Um, We've got a project manager that's actually going to manage and communicate with each and every person every single month to make sure that they are delivering. Because one thing I, one thing I do not like to do is to offer anything to the marketplace that I am not over delivering on and that I can't over deliver on, right? That's just a personal uh, core value of mine. How many YouTube videos should I film before making the channel public? Um, one, one, yep, just one. Uh, you could actually put up the channel and then post the video later, by the way, you could. Um, I think one of the things most people make the mistake of when they start a channel like that, by the way, is uh, their channel art or their little profile header circle um, look cheesy or look um, poor. Not that they look poor, just that the quality of the, of the, 
content looks for. So, so I would, that's the stuff I would hire out or I would join, right? A business boost program like this for 497 bucks a month. Uh, one a week. Is that something feasible? Absolutely. I think that's a great place to start. I'm going to shoot one video a week, man. I think that's great. I think that's a phenomenal place to start. I really do. I really, really do. Uh, we also had, uh, I've decided my goals, what my goals are, but I found myself overwhelmed by the amount of ways to get there. I'm trying to decide which avenue is more me and the diamond is overwhelming. Yeah, it is for sure. Um, I've loved this. Uh, okay, good. Good. Any other questions? Any other questions? And who's watching saying, you know what? Um, I'm not all the way committing, but I have a little bit of interest in, 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 in your business boost program after I'm seeing it. I'm not saying I'm committing or saying yes tonight, but I have a little bit of interest and I would like to talk a little bit more about it. Um, and that's not me holding you to it. That's just you saying, hey, if you can help me in my business, it's worth, you know, a measly $4.97 a month um, to start to, to elevate a little bit, right? And have someone, uh, Mark says, okay, good. Good. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. And again, that's just, that's just, Hey, it looks intriguing. Um, I don't know what I'm doing and let's have a conversation about it, you know, um, which is huge for a lot of people because some of us just need, um, some of us need someone to help hold us accountable. That's what the great thing about this program is. I didn't even mention that it comes with a monthly live Q and a with me. Like I'm going to be holding you accountable over the next 12 months. And I wish I would have had someone to help me hold me accountable for those first 12 months because the first 12 months are the hardest. Once you start seeing 300 people are on and you're getting, 10, you're getting tens of thousands of views in six months, 12 months, then it's easier to keep moving because the snowball, it's a snowball, right? It builds, it grows, um, which is cool. Which is, which is, that's one of the neatest parts, by the way, it's, it's, it's awesome. Um, Good, Aaron. I love that. Yeah. Uh, e either way, buddy, there, there's some there's some amazing things that uh, Secure Agent Marketing can do from a from a full content perspective where you don't have to touch nothing, right? Um, a little more expensive. However, we can literally, our whole team can edit, post, right? All those type of things. We also have a new um, mini website builder called a uh, seed site to where you can actually start out with a website um, an initial website that, that you can add to and grow later. Just like, okay, I want something up that looks pretty. And it's called initial seed site for only 500 bucks. Um, it's like a starter kit for someone that has no website at all. And it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, Landon priced it. I'm not saying I agree with the pricing, but you know, it's cheap. So there you go. Um, Farron says, totally interested. Not at all ready. Appreciate the honesty. And some of us, for a lot of us, it's uh, it's like half the year free by waving the onboarding. That's exactly right. That's one of the big um, reasons we're doing that is because we want uh, we want a few to uh, we want a few to jump on, and 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 we want to got to get to the twelve months so I can go to the office for a visit. That's right, uh, Laura. I would love that. That'd be fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> totally agree. Thanks, Jennifer. That's me, Cody. It just feel like all too overwhelming for me. <clears throat> and although I know this is where my attention is going, I don't know how committed I can be. Um, that's the thing too. Um, once you commit, I hold people accountable. Um, I will not let you fail. Um, however, I can't help you till you commit, right? I just can't. Um, timing is right for me right now, okay? I'm going to just put you down say, okay, I have interest, but it's not, it's not a good time. Uh, overwhelmed right now. I'm very tired. Um, it's a lot of people, it's easy to get that way when you feel like you're having to do it all, by the way. Um, that's where not having a team and feeling like I, I used to feel extremely overwhelmed. Um, and most of you would think with all the stuff that I'm doing and releasing and all the YouTube videos and all the social posts, and all the webinars and the conferences and the events and the marketing company and the two sales teams, yada, 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 right? Most people think that I get exhausted or that I've got like, uh, or that I get overwhelmed. I really don't because we have a team that manages everything that I don't want to do. And I spend my time doing things that I want to do. Um, now, that don't mean I wanted to really do an Ironman. 
Uh, that was just more of a challenge to my personal challenge to myself to get to get in crazy good shape. Um, so I still wake myself every, every once in a while, for sure. Did you say there was another program plan for 197 a month? Where is this? I couldn't see it in your deals page. Um, if there is, I don't know what it is. I'm not saying we don't have something like that. I just, if that's the case, I don't know what it is. Um, well, that's probably our sales system, I'm guessing. Uh, very dope, but 12 months is too long. I'm running already. Also, you've taught me a lot of this. It's true, buddy. Yeah. We've, he, Javier's doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Um, he's actually paid for lead gen consulting and then came back and paid for some additional one-on-one -on -one consulting. Um, the success society membership. That's true, Laura. That's true. Yep. I get overwhelmed by the cost of things, but I realize it's, it's to make me the best agent I can be investing in myself. I have a lot on my plate, family wise, financial wise, switching companies wise, so I can feel everyone's pain. Totally agree. Um, all been freaking amazing. Thanks, Javier. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, yeah, Javier, I would, dude, I would love, um, I would love for you to answer two things real quick, buddy. One, um, what you are trying to become in the marketplace. And then two, you've paid for some of the things that we do. And I would love for you to share your honest thoughts and opinion of, of what you've paid for. Let's see if I can find him. The, the pre-need machine. Javier, are you there, bro? Is it letting you unmute? Yo, yo, can you hear me? And buddy. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, repeat the question. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm curious. Um, what like what your what your intentions are and what you're planning on doing and trying to become in the marketplace and how you're gonna get there, right? Um, and then two, because uh, I think it's I think it's special to like talk something into existence and put it out there. I think a lot of people, that's how you help yourself commit, by the way. And then two, you mentioned that you have paid for some things that we do. And I would love for you to comment on that and, and, and how the uh, response has been. Yeah, sure. So to answer the first question, um, you know, straight up, I called Cody. I said, hey, I want to be the Cody Askins of pre-need. I'm in pre-need currently. And, uh, you know, they're just like final expense and insurance. There's not enough people like Cody out there. Uh, so that was my goal. And I pretty much uh, paid for um, paid to narrow that 12 month program down to a few weeks. Uh, for the most part, I've paid for the lead generation. And as of right now, uh, I run my whole agency on that knowledge. Um, you know, all of the Facebook knowledge I learned from Cody, I'm now able to scale that and run my whole business. I've got a, I mean, I've got an agency of about seven people only, but uh, you know, we all use that knowledge. So it's been uh, the value has been, you know, I can't even put a, put a number on it. That's awesome, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate that. He, he's Javier is doing some special stuff. He's a good dude. He's out in Cali soaking up the sun and selling funeral plans <laughs> left, left and right, man, left and right. That's right. And Cody's the man. I love it, buddy. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Um, yes, Jennifer. Absolutely. We can definitely do that. Um, any, what, what all, I, I want to spend a little time. I'm, I'm supposed to play basketball later tonight. So I'm going to hang out to the, at the office till then. Uh, any, what, what questions do you guys have for me? Any questions, right? I, if there's something that's been on your mind, like, okay, Cody, why do you do this with social? When it comes to YouTube, how did you do this, 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 and this, or why this? Why the conference, right? Why the masterminds? Why the retreats? What, what, what's the uh, best way to generate leads? Like, if there's a question that you are going to leave here tonight saying, I wish I would have asked, now is the time to ask it, okay? Now is the time to ask it, okay? What do you see? When do you see a return for your investment? Um, I know it's long term. When do you see a return for? And, and, and Jennifer, are you referring to business boost? Are you return for referring to just putting out content? Are you refer, referring to how do you pick your topics for videos? Great question. That's one of the things Dylan's going to go through in the video coaching and consulting with you. However, I like to. I like to list out all the things that um, my that are important to the people that are watching so if you're targeting medicare beneficiaries what do they want to learn 
what do they need to know and map out your first 10 videos 25 videos right like i've done that before and i've mapped out 100 different videos before because i'm like okay what do they need to know what do they want to learn and then put out that content now once you have an audience then they start putting out comments telling you what they want you to do videos on um which which happens all the time to us um all the time so then we we use that to to start to help us um put those out contents okay okay content social media yeah um i started to see a return I would say it's going to probably take six to 12 months. Um, it's probably going to take six to 12 months when it comes to specifically social. When it comes to YouTube and content, it's probably going to take it at least a year, if we're being honest, right? But, but think about this, November 29th, 2021, where would you like to be? That's the real question, right? That's the real question, Mr. Vic. I'm sitting here. 20 January, November 29th, 2021, a year later, what did I accomplish? How did I move my agency forward in a positive way? What did I do over the last 12 months that has been a brand lift? What have I changed? What have I implemented? Or did I just float through and do the same thing and be in the same spot as I was a year ago? Because I know nobody really wants that, by the way. Just to make you think a little, uh, we're approaching, we are approaching our summer and have 60 days to prepare for the tough 2021 to concentrate a media plan. What program within CA should my company take? Um, what would you like to learn, Mark? What would you like to learn? Uh, I, can, can I speak? Yeah, please, please, buddy. Yeah, please. We, we are a pretty large company. We, we are a wholesaler we, in which we lead over 50, uh, 500 agents from all different niches. One that do life insurance, other PNC, corporate business, small and medium accounts. So I would love to, to develop. I'm the commercial, uh, the, 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 the chief commercial officer for the, for the whole group. And I would like to develop a program for all of them. Uh, like a sales training program or something different? Also including, also train, yeah, also. Okay. How to lead everybody specific in, in, in each, in, in their niches. Yep. Good, I think the one thing that most people need is um, constant. They need sales training, but they need most people forget how often you need to re-enthuse your sales team and how, how, how much you need to re-motivate them. So for me, um, we've, got a, we've got a bunch of companies that are not only on our CA sales system, which is daily sales training for a team, but we also have um, companies that I actually come on once a month, twice a month, or just for a quarter or whatever, 90 days, to actually motivate and enthuse their team and jack them up. And so a lot of times me with your company, with your team, with those 500 agents, I promise you, they will think bigger and different in 2021 after we spend some time together. Yeah, great question, buddy. Thank you. That's where I see a lot, by the way, of, of companies doing now. Um, what do you do to pick your target market to prepare for beginning, beginning for your marketing ads or videos, et cetera? Uh, that's a phenomenal question. Um, that's a phenomenal question. I think that I typically like to recommend that people do pick the niche that they enjoy doing the most, that they're going to more likely see it through to its conclusion, right? To the end. Um, oh, Brian, you had your hand up, by the way. Um, I just, I don't know why I just now saw that. Did you want to jump in at all, man? I just, I just raised it when you said, is anyone interested in the um, coaching program for boosting the business? I'm sorry. I should have typed it. No, nope. Perfect, buddy. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'll make sure I put you down. Make sure they got you down. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. That's, a, that's an easier way to do it. Just raising the hand. I like that. I like that. I'm going to remember that next time. Um, good to hear from you, buddy. All right. How different is YouTube ad creation from Facebook ads? Um, it is a little different. 
I would say that it's more it's more focused on the actual video itself pertaining specifically to the audience that you're targeting and then the landing page of where you're sending them to. Um, or what, what's like most people, we can put, you can put together a decent video. I can give you scripts and ideas and that's what the business boost is all about. But if you think about it, um, what does that look like? Where are you sending them? What's the end goal? And does it look really professional and really good? And I think that's where most people forget they're, they send them to their website. You don't want to send an ad to your website. You, you, you can send them to a page on your website, maybe. But the biggest mistake I made was I was sending people to directly to the homepage of my website. Really, really dumb because they're not going to know where to go. Um, I made that mistake for a while, by the way, but when I first started using Google AdWords. Instead, you need to be sending them to a landing page or a specific, whatever page they're specifically interested in. That's the biggest piece that most people forget about. Uh, and it's easy to do, by the way, easy to do. Uh, this, I love Myra's question. How do you handle the trolls or negative comments? Um, to be honest, it used to bother me, uh, but you get used to it. You get used to it. I mean, what's, what's hilarious is you guys want to, you guys want to hear something. Um, I had on that, on that, on that, um, on that TikTok I put up, um, I had some comments and one person said, this is why my insurance premiums are so high because of this cash dropping from the ceiling, which makes zero sense, but you know, who cares? Um, and they charge 5,000 a person for people, people to get in. People are clawing for money. These people are definitely involved in a Ponzi scheme. Like all these ridiculous, all, all these ridiculous comments, right? And we get negative comments on YouTube every day, but I'm telling you, you eventually become immune to them. You really do. Like you, you just get, I guess, I guess to the honest opinion is you just get used to it. Um, but also, I don't, I don't ever, I don't ever feed back to them. Like when someone come, when, when someone is like a negative comment, I'm just going to be nice back. You know, I'm not going to like feed into them trying to ruin my day. And I think a lot of people get caught up in that. Like I got to defend myself. You really don't, you know, you really don't. Um, I have a personal brand name and logo about to be done. I want to start the podcast and I'm struggling with things to talk about. I have two directions, educate about PNC life or educate on how I see my sales. Lean towards second option, but I want to get business from this. I don't know if insurance 101 only videos would cut it. Um, yeah, it needs to be fun. Also, it could be about a totally different topic. That's a hobby of yours but you're known as like the insurance lady or something, you know, like it doesn't always have to be what people think. So I think that's one thing that can, uh, one thing that can help. For example, I had a fantasy football radio show on the local ESPN radio station here in Springfield, Missouri for like three years. And we used to get recruits and sell policies because of that radio show. We got insurance leads, but we talked about fantasy football right? Most people don't realize the benefits that come from that. And so for me, it also helped me from like a local personal brand standpoint. I was sitting at, I was in um, 20 minutes away, about to walk into the pool the other day to go swim at like six in the morning on a Saturday. And a guy that I didn't know was like, hey, CA. And I'm like, no clue who this person is. In my local city, we don't really focus on our local market, right? But everything you're doing will end up helping in other ways, okay? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, are the elderly always <laughs> going to be more locked into television? Would you ever do TV commercials? TV commercials are good, but I'm probably, I would buy them from, a, from someone. I would just buy TV leads from someone that's already doing commercials. I wouldn't pay for the spot unless you did it through, like, like for example, Justin Brock spends a bunch of money on TV, Security agent marketing actually manages his TV for him, um, but you need you need some budget. You know, like you gotta have, you gotta have thousands of dollars a month to even consider that. So, but great question, fair on a personal brand. What happens? But what happens when it, it's a couple that owns the agency? Uh, a couple. Oh, oh, oh! I, I see what you're saying. Um, 
it, it could be a company. It doesn't have to be, always be a personal brand or it can be a combo or each person has their own, you know? Um, that's a tough one to answer actually. Let me think about that one. Thanks, Javier. Uh, I wanna learn the quickest way to scale my business to point where I am forced to hire more producers. I currently have one producer and we are in the Medicare and health insurance market. Awesome, but primarily Medicare. Quickest way to scale my business to a point where I'm focused to hire producers. Um, Hmm. If you were automating your prospecting part of the business, then you'd have to focus on that. And you showed up and had appointments on the books and you were focused on actually like building the other side of the business while just selling. I think that's, that's kind of where my mind goes. It's like, okay, how do we leverage your time so that you're spending your time on the, the best use of your time so that you can start to actually start to, to, to grow and hire more producers. Now, hiring producers is not as easy or fun as people think. However, um, it's not bad either though. So it's not bad. Uh, besides coaching, how much should I spend with, I mean, and, and, and before I go to the next question, what, what, one thing I'd spend a lot, I mean, I've spent so much time, energy and money and I enjoy it is building local sales teams. Uh, managing and, and training sales teams is basically what I do within these four walls. Like that's it. Um, I promote every, I just promote and manage the sales team, you know, so, and this is a form of promotion, by the way, right? Educating in hopes that someone wants to do business with us. It's, it's a webinar, right? And, and, and for your business, you can be doing the same thing, by the way. And it didn't say like the webinar can be like how the webinar model works well for me. Um, and it can work well for you, but it's gotta be like a, a, a different, it's gotta be an off title that is, but still relates to what you're going to be talking about, right? Or what the end goal is. Besides coaching, how much should I spend with ads, et cetera, per month? It really depends on um, the goal, right? The target, how many leads you want, how much, what your budget is, how much income you bring in. Um, I would say if the goal is to drive leads, you're going to need to spend at least a Gosh, I would say at least 12 to two grand a month minimum. And that's pretty low, by the way. If it was my husband and I, I would make it competitive between you two publicly. That's good. Like whose tips do you like better structured around a relationship? That's fun. Nostalgia. That's a great idea, actually. I really like that. That's really good. Good, 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 good. All right. Amy? Other questions for me? Appreciate you guys being here. Okay, we are recording this. Um, so I'll make sure that we get out a copy. But at the end of the day, this was all about, okay, how do you get more attention in a marketplace so that people come to you so it makes the sales piece easier? And then you're able to scale your business in a systematic way that delivers results. Like I know now how many leads we're going to get how many people are going to come into our funnels? How many subscribers we're going to get on YouTube this month? Like when you start, start to know the numbers, it becomes much, you can start to plan ahead and it becomes a much more systematic and strategic. It really, really does. Right. But it all, it wasn't always that way, but it, it, and it took some time. You have a program about training admins and salespeople. Um, Yes, if it's if it's if it's, if it's in regards to sales, yes, we have a CRCA sell system that would do exactly that. It would do exactly that. So, okay. Um, all right. Appreciate you guys being on. Thank you for joining tonight, this morning, late tonight, wherever you're at, um, around the world, Argentina, UK, etc. Uh, okay. Actually, one more quick. Best tool to get on my team would say build brand, build brand to be known. They want to work with me. Use Indeed, Facebook jobs, Indeed, um, and you need to be very, very active at posting content locally so that you start to attract other people that want to work with you. Because I get people every week that want to like take me to locally that want to like take me to lunch or that want a job or something. Why? Because they see me putting out content and talking about everything constantly. And people are attracted to energy. By the way, energy is attractive. Energy is attractive, okay? You got it.
Great question. Okay. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you being on tonight. Let's go boost your business. Let's go scale your business. Let's go dominate 2021. Have a great rest of 2020. Appreciate you being on and we'll talk soon. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. I have four boards up here. We don't have that much time today. But I love to talk, by the way. I talk all day. So on one side, you have the inner world, which represents all the things that happen up here between your ears before you ever go out into the world.